hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into today's video so today we're going to be doing a pretty simple bling nail set and i'll be honest okay i've done this maybe three times in the past so this will be my fourth time doing this nail set but to be honest i wanted to do it again because i believe i was recommended by one of you guys to do a blinged out lipstick nail set and so i'm like you know what this is honestly the best i can think of okay to be honest it's been just a really weird couple of weeks and my consistency has just been so off and i just wanted to apologize for that but to be honest things are just kind of weird so we're gonna keep it nice and simple for today's video so as you can see we are starting off with some nail prep i just went ahead and pushed back my cuticles and also took the opposite end to scrape up any excess product and now i'm going in with my cuticle bit just to help further lift up those cuticles Next, I'm gonna go in with my cuticle nippers and cut back the excess cuticle. Okay, and that's all the nail prep for today. So as you can see, I did go ahead and apply my peel off base coat and I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing on these nail tips. And as always to glue on these nail tips, I'm gonna be using some base coat. Now this part is optional, but I am taking some of that same base coat and applying it over my natural nail. And this is kind of just to make sure that if I'm going ahead and shaping these up, that they don't accidentally like pop off, you know? Next, I'm taking my tip cutters and I'm cutting them down to the desired length that I want for today. And afterwards, I'm going to take my straight edge nail clippers and cut them into the lipstick shape. So the nail prep is done and now we're ready for the application. So for today's application, I thought it would be nice if I kind of just gave you some updates on my life, I guess. So like I said a little bit earlier, my consistency has honestly just been really wonky these past couple of weeks. And I'll be honest, it's kind of been inconsistent like my entire YouTube career, like if I'm being so honest with myself, okay? But I feel like it's gotten a lot worse as I have become more active on TikTok and trying to do the best that I can for those in Palestine, Congo, Sudan, and all of the places where people of color are just being mistreated and they're suffering and struggling. As of recently, I have been trying my best to amplify those who are trying to evacuate and cross over into the Egyptian border and to be honest, it's a lot of work and it's definitely something that has been taking a lot of energy out of me. And to be honest, I don't mind because I know that it's helping someone and that's honestly all that I really care about, to be honest. But if I am honest, of course, um, it has kind of hindered my productivity on my YouTube channel and just recording doing nails because I'm kind of just preoccupied with doing other things, if that makes sense. So yeah, I just want to kind of like apologize for my lack of productivity here. I've just been really trying to find a good balance um because i am a balanced person like i think it's just the libra in me but i just love finding a balance and i just can't do it to save my life but i don't want to beat myself up about it too bad because i am doing something that makes me proud i'm doing something that helps people and i know i don't really talk about what's happening a lot on youtube anymore and that's because i talk about it so much on my tiktok and again if you don't follow me on my tiktok i will make sure to put it on the screen and you can go ahead and follow me over there and again it is a personal tiktok account so you know face all up in the camera all that looking a mess you already know the deal but yes i do talk about it a lot more on my personal tiktok account 
account than I do on YouTube. And when I say I talk about it, that doesn't mean I am providing like daily updates or anything like that. But I do want to make sure that I am keeping the conversation alive. And yeah, that's basically what I do over there on my TikTok. And speaking of that, to be honest, things have just been really good, but also not the greatest. Um, it's been very good in a sense where I feel like we are making some sort of movement in, you know, the liberation of our people. And then sometimes we have moments where there is just a lot of really sad and depressing updates and you know sometimes it can feel a little bit hopeless but i know that feeling hopeless doesn't get us anywhere and i have to keep using my voice if it means that it'll help liberate our people and of course i just want to remind you that you can do the same too and that there are so many amazing ways to help other than turning on a camera if you could give back to your own community if you could find community in those who believe in the things that you believe in if you could donate if you could tell their stories if you can go to protest if you can stop buying certain products and stop buying from certain brands that is amazing and especially considering now where things are very very dire and our people are really in need of our help boycotting and striking are two of the most important things that we can do and i haven't really talked about this in such a long time and to be honest i have just felt so bad about not talking about it on youtube because i've talked about it so much on tiktok but i want to correct that and i just want to remind you that i still care about these things i have just been kind Kind of struggling with balance but anyways um speaking of i do just want to kind of mention my link tree a little bit so as you guys know a couple of months ago i did work on developing a super link and honestly i think my super link was pretty good but it's kind of messy and i really wanted to develop a link tree so that is what i'm currently in the process of doing i have shared it on my community tab and you can find the link there however there are still some things that i kind of want to update and a really long time ago i actually did mention that i would be providing some updates for my t gray section and that has not happened because again i just i'm all over the place okay i do not know what i'm doing with my life but i do think after my next video i really want to sit down and really work on my t gray section as well as update some other sections so that it's a little bit more in tune with you know february into march so yeah if you guys have been looking forward to that i will make sure to have it in my description box and just for anyone wondering it's not all donation links it's some information that you guys could read because i know that honestly like donations and just like pushing it at you can really discourage a lot of people especially if you can't like actually donate so i did want to include some information and some education on there as well but anyways i don't really think that i have anything else to mention i kind of just wanted to remind you that i'm still trying my best to talk about things that are important and spread awareness on it and i really do hope that you can join me in that and also please just remember to keep your eyes on everything especially now as the situation is not getting any better anytime soon so please keep your eyes peeled stay vigilant and just make sure to keep your eyes on everything but as you can see i'm almost done with my application and i don't know if you guys can tell but this is pretty much my real time i know one of you guys did ask me if i could upload a video with just like my real time with my application so yes this is pretty much my real time this is sped up only by like 0.5 so yeah i hope that you enjoyed me moving really slow during this portion but anyways i'm just going to be quiet for now and i will come back to shape and file these nails
So the application is done and this is what the nails are looking like so far. So next I'm gonna go ahead and shape up these nails. And usually I would kind of just walk you through the entire process, but to be honest, I think I'm just going to let you guys watch it because I honestly tell you guys in every single video and you guys are probably sick of me. So just go ahead and enjoy the shaping portion and we'll be back for the nail art. The shaping and filing is all done and this is what the shape is looking like so far. So before we get into any nail art, I'm just going to scrub my nails using some isopropyl alcohol. And I really like to do this because it does get off any sticky monomer from around my skin and also I just feel like 
kind of fancy whenever I do it. I don't know. But anyways, I do recommend doing this or at least washing your hands before moving on to the nail art just to make sure that all of the dust is off of your nails. So the first step in our nail art is to paint on a glitter French tip. And the reason I'm painting on a glitter French tip is because I actually want to make sure that there's no gaps in between these crystals. And you guys have actually recommended that I do this a little while ago. And I was like, you know what? I don't really care about the gaps. But to be honest, I really wanted to see if it really made that much of a difference and it really 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 did so as you can see i did take that like holographic flake top coat and i tried to use it by itself but i didn't really like it and i ended up mixing it with a like holographic glitter if that makes sense and the glitter definitely did make a really huge difference there wasn't so much like gaps in between and i just really liked the holographic feel of everything because in the top coat there's the holographic flakes of course but there is like some silver pieces that are like more prevalent than the holographic pieces so yeah this glitter was definitely a game changer and as you can see it looks a lot more like opaque and in your face so yeah i'm just going to paint this french tip on and i'm going to be doing two layers of this So now that the French tip is on, I'm making sure to buff the surface using the smoother side of my mini buffer just to make sure that these gems have something to stick to. You want to make sure that these gems are going on top of a kind of scratched up surface because you really don't want these gems to fall off. And I'm making sure to use the smoother side because I don't want to like actually scratch up the gel polish. I just want to kind of like remove the shine if that makes sense. So now we are on to the gem placement and as you can see, I'm using these AB crystals and I'm going to be attaching them using some McCart rhinestone glue as always. Now this is very very tedious and it definitely took a very long time but to be honest it was kind of relaxing and soothing so i didn't really mind it taking too long so as you can see the first thing i'm doing is i'm placing some really really small gems just around the perimeter of my french tip I would really recommend doing this step first because it kind of provides you with a guideline as to what gem sizes you can use in the center of the nail because to be honest sometimes we want to add really big and like intricately shaped gems but we just like literally can't fit it so I like to do this first just to make sure I know what I'm working with and once I'm finished with the perimeter I'm just going to use some of these bigger and more intricately shaped gems to fill in the center now I like to keep the biggest gems towards the middle of the nail because I don't want the nail to get too too wide and also just a little bit of a tip make sure that you aren't placing the gems directly on the edge of the nail because it will definitely start to look super super wide after a while and another tip definitely do make sure to do this in sections especially if you are using a gel because these gems can really slip and slide and it's honestly really annoying trying to fight with these gems to be still and like to stay where you want them so yes definitely do this in sections
And once I have all the gems placed, I'm just going to go ahead and cure that for a full 60 seconds. So now we're going to repeat the exact same process to the rest of our four nails. And yes, again, this takes a long time, but just relax, get into the zone. And this is honestly very soothing to me. So again, I didn't really mind, but yes, I'm going to do the exact same thing and I will be back in just a bit. So all of the gems are finally placed and this is what everything is looking like so far. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish off this nail set with some top coat. And of course, I am making sure to avoid getting this top coat on the gems at all costs. And this is because I really just wanted to maintain that nice shine. So to finish off this nail set, I'm going to go in with some cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, this nail set I have already done probably like this is my fourth time doing this, but I just love it. Love it so much. Every time I do it, I love it like so much okay anyway but i really wanted to do something like nice and simple and kind of just like take it slow a little bit and also just kind of like talk to you guys about 
maybe some slightly important things that I haven't talked about in quite some time. So I really do hope that you guys enjoyed the more conversation-based video, if that makes sense. I'm trying to get more into doing these a little bit more often because I feel like it's a good opportunity for us to get to know each other as a community. And I don't know, I just really enjoy it. But anyways, I would love to hear what you guys think of this nail set down in the comments. I honestly think that this is probably my favorite rendition of this nail set because the first three times I did it, I did do it with gold rhinestones, but these are reflective and they shift into different colors. And I don't know, I just feel like it's better. I don't know. <laughs> so yes, definitely do let me know what you guys think of this nail set. Now for my next video, I do have a really cool nail video idea, kind of, if that makes sense. And I really do hope that you guys will stay tuned for that because I'm really excited about it. We're gonna do some really cool nails. It's gonna be kind of conversation based and a little bit kind of like educational, like low key. So I am very excited for that. And I really do hope that you guys are as well. But as always, I wanna say thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one.